Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to create your own material library in the, uh, you know, the new as a browser for Blender 3. And that's what we're going to be doing. So let's, uh, let's begin. This is kind of like a, a, a small one that I did. I've been working on this one just to adding um, textures from uh, Quixel Bridge. So I did a small, uh, sort of like a, you know, adding this materials here because I use this stuff all the time. So it's easy for me to grab it just straight from Blender, not to do the whole process of exporting and all that stuff. So today I want to show you how to do that stuff from scratch and, um, you know, the way to do that. And a little disclaimer, we're going to need, uh, if you, okay, this is, this is what's going to, what's, what's happening right now. If you go to, let's, let's select this material right here. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to go here to uh, this tab right here, Expert Settings, go to Learn, Learn More. And you're going to see that uh, the Quixel Bridge plugin for Blender, it only goes to 2.93, okay? You can actually plug it into 3.0, but I have found uh, a few bugs that the materials are not correctly connected to the, uh, to the proper output and it's causing a lot of issues. So what I did is I downloaded a version of Blender 3.93. That's what I have it right here open. So just a little disclaimer in case you see me going back and forth with this um, two blenders, all right? So what I did is I selected one of those, I downloaded it and I'm gonna do that right now. So we're gonna do that, you know, like a clean, um, from scratch and I'm going to go to uh, this is Blender 3 right here because the uh, the asset browser is in Blender 3 so what we're going to do here it's uh, let me uh, update this real quick uh, do I have that let me just delete that and I'm going to refresh and refresh uh, it's, it, that's going to go away let me just uh, refresh Blender and it's going to go away I pasted that those materials over there just for the exercise there you go they're gone all right, so what we're going to do here is, this is what we're going to do. We're going to save this file in a location. That's a, it, it doesn't matter what location you're going to save the file. And we're going to just going to go here and uh, I'm going to grab this. Uh, I'm going to create a folder, mat, uh, lit, 0, 2. I'm going to, there we go, right here. And we're going to go here into, and we're going to be like, uh, this is going to be, uh, what kind of material are we going to grab in? Uh, it's going to be bricks. We're gonna call this bricks, all right? We're gonna go here, we're gonna copy that location right there, all right? And then we're gonna go to this file and we're just gonna save it. Go to that location right there and let's call it bricks. Just simple, nothing complicated, nothing fancy, all right? And then we're gonna just create a plane. There you go, it's sort of a simple plane. Let's go to Blender 2.93 uh, and let's go to bridge and let's go export. It should work because uh, blend is it recognizes blend 2.93. There you go. So now here we're gonna add a plane and go to material and we're gonna select the material. If you see a zero right there, it means it's not assigned to anything. So it's just gonna assign that. And there we go. All right, so we're gonna duplicate this one and we're gonna grab another material just to have enough like, oh, this one is already downloaded. So let's do that. And I export that one. And let's see if we have another, uh, we have another word right here. It's already downloaded, so we're just going to do that. And we're going to export that one. There you go. So again, blend the 2.93. We're going to select that one, and we're going to select the ones. We're going to duplicate that one again, select that one, and assign the ones that are not assigned. There you go. All right. I think with three materials, we're fine. So this is going to be a good start. So from 2.93, I'm just going to Ctrl Z, copy those objects right there. Let's go back to um, Blender 3. And let's uh, put this in materials here so we can see what's going on. There you go. Now we have it right there. All right. So we're just going to save the library here. It's saved it already. And we're going to copy the location of the folder again. Remember, this is where it is, right? Now we're going to tell Blender, hey, this is where I want my material library be, to be, all right? So we're going to uh, hit this plus button right here. We're going to copy the location here on the top. Hit OK. Add as a library. We're going to put a name. Uh, Madlib uh, zero is it zero one zero two zero two. All right, we're gonna save that. Remember, save that, and now we can see it right here. If you don't do that, if you don't save this file and get the location over here, you're not gonna be able to see it right here. So right now, there's nothing here. It's only um, actually it's in blank because we haven't even assigned anything. All right. So how did you take 
the material from those and turn them, turn them into assets. All right. One way is to go here and uh, in the outliner and grab it from here. Just click the expand the uh, um, this right here. Expand it. Keep expanding. You're going to see this material right here. Now, when you see that, you just right click and mark as asset. That's a one way to do it, right? Let's go back a little bit. Let's go to the layout all the way to the outside. Let's do that again. You're going to select the one you want. You can go here to the material lab, um, to the, the material properties. Do the same thing. Right click. You can do it right here too. If you go to shading, same way. Right click over here. Mark as asset. It's going to take it. In any other place that you do it, it's going to take it. So let's do that. Let's going to right click, mark as asset. Select the other one. Do the same thing and the other one and do the same thing. All right, there you go. So we have it right now. Let's go to the assets um, tab. Remember this tab, I created it by the, um, I created this, tab, this whole workspace. I created it. It doesn't exist. How you get there, I'm gonna show you real quick. So if you split the window here in the corner, if you split it and you go all the way here to the top and go to asset browser, it's gonna turn it into, you know, uh, can create your own space. So that's actually uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? All right. So now that we have the materials already in place, they're unassigned. Means they're not assigned to anything. They're just floating around. All right. So in order for uh, this is one thing that I do all the time. I just like I did with, for example, like did with this one right here. I created subcategories like surfaces, and I, I created like a different type of uh, materials that I think they're gonna be like you know like metals and dirty. Of course, metal shouldn't be in concrete, but this is just a test. Uh, roughness, I mean, rough uh, concrete and dirty, stuff like that. So I think you get the point. So in here, you can just go and be like, okay, um, do the same thing or whatever. And then on this one, I'm gonna create another one right here. This is gonna be inside of that one right there immediately. You see that? And this is gonna be like, uh, I don't know, like uh, uh, dirty. And the other one is gonna be like, uh, clean of course <laughs> and now you go to unassign and you grab the one you think is dirty right there and put it right there grab those two and put it in clean and now they are right here you gotta save that and bam now if you go to a clean blender let me just go back here and just clean everything this is a clean blender right here if you add uh let's add this plane right here and let's split the window actually not like that there you go let's go to the asset browser there you go gonna select the one we just created and let's go to clean and let's drop that one and drag and drop it boom and if we go to here you can see it right there boom and there you go as simple as that that's it drag and drop so let's go back a little bit all right let's step back a little bit just see recap what we just did all right so first of all you need a file okay you need a file and you need to save it in the location doesn't mean it doesn't matter what location it is you just need a location for this file to be where you're gonna uh, save all your materials for uh, the library that you're creating then you're gonna copy that location go to preferences file path and you're gonna add a new path right here with a location of that blender file give it a name save that right over here and that's it and basically just you know grab the material uh turn it into an asset library like if you see those little books right there right there that means this material is in the asset uh browser all right it's a it's a library all right so that's basically what it is if you all of those right there if i if i turn this off like just clear off like clear asset is going to disappear it's no longer going to be here that's so you have to be careful with that if you do that it's going to just go away all right, so that's uh, I think that's it. That's um, that's all I wanted to like explain and how to create from scratch, how to capture those materials and you know make those wonderful libraries. And uh, dude, I, I love this. I love this so much because I started doing creating my own library of like surfaces and stuff like that. And I think this is gonna be uh, absolutely amazing when I just like you know I have like all the stuff that I use all the time. And I want to do one for like the models that I use constantly for Quicksource. That's actually great. Remember, uh, right now, uh, I explained to you, you can grab those materials from here, export it, 
Blend 2.93 is going to grab it perfectly. Everything is going to be, uh, you know, nice. They haven't updated the plugin yet, so that's why I, I'm doing this kind of process. I know it's a little crazy, but like, for, for example, if I just want to go and uh, go to the, um, I can just go to the uh, asset folder, grab the materials from here, and import in Blender, I can do all that stuff, but I think it's faster for me if I have those right here open already, like a Blender 2.93 and a Blender uh, 3. So it's actually faster for me to do it that way. So, yeah, there's a lot of ways to do this. So I hope you got uh, you got it and I hope you learned something from this video. And if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye bye.